In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix VMW GFX failure on Ubuntu boot unsupported hypervisor in VirtualBox. So, in case you're getting an error which looks similar to this one over here on the screen, make sure before you do this tutorial that you check if it's actually the same error, okay? I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. So first, what you want to do is power off the operating virtual machine. You want to go up left to file, so this one over here, and then click close. And then from the settings menu, you want to select power off the machine. Once you've done this, you want to click OK. Then next, you want to navigate yourself to settings, which is this thing over here. You want to click settings, and that's the next step. The third step is to go to display settings. So here on the left, you want to click display, and then you are inside the display settings. Then we need to change a few things in here in order for this to work, okay? So the first thing is to click on the graphics controller, so which is this one over here at the bottom, and choose VBox SVGA, okay? It's probably going to be set to something different, but make sure you select it and change it to v, uh, VBox SVGA. Now, once you've done that, you want to increase the video memory to 128 megabytes, so to 128 megabytes. Simply up here with the, where's the first option, you want to click the slider and drag it all the way to 128 megabytes, which will give you better performance. And then what you want to do is simply click OK at the bottom down here, and that's it, you've successfully fixed the issue. You can now try running the virtual machine again, and you'll see that it now works. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.